Do you want to find out how to set up Steam streaming within RetroPie on a Raspberry Pi? Then stick around because you know what time it is. So I've already tackled Steam streaming on a Raspberry Pi in one of my previous videos and you can check that out here. But what I really wanted to find out is how you could run Steam streaming through RetroPie since it's already a gaming client itself. And after a little bit of tinkering and so forth, I found a way and I'm going to show you how to do it now. Once you're in RetroPie, you need to press F4 on the keyboard to get to the command line. Next, you need to type in sudo nano slash etc slash apt slash sources dot list. And now you'll be in the editor where you can edit your sources list. So using the arrows on the keyboard, arrow down to the blank line and then start typing in this line of code. Once you've finished typing that code, you need to press Control X, then Y on the keyboard and then enter. Okay, so now once we're back, we need to type in sudo apt dash get update. This will go through now and update the packages list that we just put into the config file so we can install Moonlight directly from the Linux command line. So once that's installed, we need to type in sudo apt-get install moonlight-embedded. This will install Moonlight onto the Raspberry Pi. When it asks for confirmation, just type in Y and press enter. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into the RetroPie configs directory. And once we're inside there, we're gonna make the directory Moonlight. And then we're going to go into that directory. And finally, what we'll do is we will map our controller to a file. So just push the corresponding direction or button on your controller when it asks for it. And that's as hard as this bit gets. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna type in Moonlight, pair, and then your IP address of the Steam computer that you're going to connect to. So this will start a connection and then it will give you a pin number to enter on the computer. So once we've got that, we'll pop over to the PC. On the PC now, what we'll do is we'll insert that pin number given to us by the Raspberry Pi and then hit the connect button. Back on the Raspberry Pi now, what will happen is it will connect and say that we're successfully paired. Now that the Raspberry Pi and the PC are successfully paired, we need to insert some code into the configuration file for emulation station. So type in this so we can start editing that file. So once the file's open, we just need to arrow right down to the very bottom until we get to just before it says system list. And then we will create a new line and we will start typing in our code. Now, just so it's a little bit easier, what I'll do is I'll put that code on the screen now while I fast forward and you can start typing that into your configuration file on your Raspberry Pi. So to save everything that we've done, we'll press Control X on the keyboard, Y, and then press Enter. So now once you've saved the configuration file, we'll need to make a directory just like shown on the screen right now. Now we'll change the directory to the directory that we've just created. And now we're gonna create one of the shell script files that will launch Moonlight and start streaming. So we'll type in sudo nano and then the file name stream30fps.sh. Once we're in this file, we'll need to start out by typing hash exclamation mark slash bin slash bash enter and then type in this long string here, including your IP address at the very end. Again, to save the file, we'll press control X, Y and then enter. Now what we're gonna do is we're going to sudo cp stream30fps.sh space stream 60 fps.sh. What this will do, it will copy the file we just created and create a new file, but call it 60 fps at the end. And now we'll sudo nano stream 60 fps.sh. Inside this file, all we'll need to do is change the dash 30 fps to dash 60 fps and then press Control X, Y, and Enter to save. And now what we'll do is we'll set it so these files can be launched from within RetroPie. So we'll type in sudo chmod plus x stream 30fps.sh. And we'll do the same for the 60fps file as well. Now we'll type exit and we'll go back into emulation station. Once we're back inside, you'll notice now that we've got a Steam menu there. So if we go into there, we can see we've got two options, Stream 30 FPS and Stream 60 FPS. So we'll choose the 60 frames per second and we'll launch that now. It will perform some handshaking and there we go. 
My Raspberry Pi is connected via an ethernet cable, so the speed will be a lot better at 60 frames per second, and I'm using a Raspberry Pi 3, which I highly recommend. And here you can see some sped up footage of Blaze Blue Calamity. So that's how to set up Steam streaming from scratch, all the way into making it work within RetroPie on a Raspberry Pi. Now, if this didn't work for you, leave me a comment down below and I'll see if I can come up with some sort of solution for you. Otherwise, if it did work, also let me know down in the comments below. And as another little treat, I've actually done a collaboration with Don over at Nova Spirit Tech and we actually streamed Steam from Australia all the way over to New York. So if you want to check out that video, click up here. Well, that's it for another video. I really hope you liked it. If you did, make sure you leave me a big thumbs up or even a comment down below. If you do enjoy the content that I'm providing here today, then make sure you subscribe to this channel because it really helps me a lot. And as always, imagine, learn, create.